There is an art to sitting, fading into the world that your player is traveling through, letting its sounds, its vibrations, its colors wash over you. Games that include these moments of rest are known for their immersion, known for their world building, as it's easier to connect with a place when you can become a part of it, when you can melt into its walls and simply observe its spaces. This act of sitting, of resting, of taking a place in is often far more important than we give it credence to be. In the deep waters of Abzu, this sitting takes place so that the player may look upon the ocean, study its inhabitants, and become one with its livelihood. To know the place so that you may uncover its secrets, so that you may sift through its sands. Meditating allows you to follow schools of fish, read their names, study their patterns, and enjoy it all peacefully. But this peace is found in many things, poetry being one. A place to write so that one may lose themselves into their surroundings. Ghost of Tsushima is an action-packed, story-driven game, but what connects us to Jin Sakai is his quiet moments. Sitting on a perch writing haiku that is reflective of both his emotions and the world that he sees. This poetry brings calm to the myriad of violence that takes place on his home island. It helps reground him in moments of strife, and it allows us to peer through the veil of that main character ethos. But the player too needs that reprieve, especially in games that are an onslaught of difficulty. Hollow Knight and Dark Souls both offer points for the player to sit. In Hollow Knight, it is on an ornate bench meant to match the area that it is placed within, and in Dark Souls, it is a made bonfire, one that symbolizes the rekindling of the player's soul needed to continue. Both are highly symbolic. These games are difficult, there's no two ways about it, and these points of rest are beacons to the player. They make the world around you feel a touch warmer, they add ambiance to the otherwise oppressive natures, and they allow us a brief rest when so much else propels us forward. Those seats taken are of great importance either to gameplay or to story, but sitting in Stray or in Outer Wilds is of little consequence. Roasting your marshmallow over the campfire with your music playing companion will get you absolutely nothing, except for a beautiful view of a solar system bent on destruction. A lo-fi glimpse of a dilapidated area that feels too cozy for a cat to unnestle themselves from is of little importance except to take in this strange world. Sometimes sitting is just there to allow you to convene with the world, to soak up and sip up its tasty vibes, and often when I take up this offer to reside, I'm glad I took the stop. I'm glad I sat. From time to time, I'll walk the park, sit on the bench, and just lose myself. Listen to the birds chirp, smell the errant free-floating grass, and watch the clouds roll overhead. It is in these moments that I am reminded that time is a gift, health is a gift, and peace, peace is fleeting. It is necessary that we savor these few days that we have to get outside once in a while and to connect ourselves to the place where we live. It's funny that it took the simple act of sitting for me to see this.